Hello and welcome to the Big Bungalow Renovation. My name's Meg and with my partner Alex and my dog Hugo, we've been renovating this 1940s detached bungalow for the last seven months we've had building works going on. So yeah, come and join us and see what's happened in week 26. Okay, so I forgot to film last night because I was incredibly hungover, which is never a good thing when you're trying to lay floors. So this is where we got up to last night. Um, and we're just trying to get the bottom of that out so that we can slide the next board under nice and flush. The only problem is we've got this one to do, this one to do, and this really lovely one to do as well. So it's not easy, like it's not like I thought when we bought this tool, it would go through these things, like a hot knife through butter, but it doesn't. So what are you doing? Okay, so after this, we managed to get cracking and we actually stayed up till 1 a.m. this night to finish the floor in and unfortunately my phone actually ran out of battery and it stopped recording after a while but yeah we managed to finish the floor in so i got a couple of shots of it in the morning before we had to cover it up again with cardboard before the builders arrived and i think you can agree that it is looking really good but i'm excited to see the floor in once all the plinths are installed as well because i think this will really finish it off Okay, so this weekend we are going to start the marble tiles and we're laying them in a diamond shape. But first of all, we need to prep the floor. So we're just trying to chip away any random bits that are sticking out. So we've got a nice flat surface to start laying the tiles on. Good morning. So today is Saturday. And today is the day that we are going to try and do these marble tiles. So if you remember in last week's video, unfortunately because they're marble, it was gonna cost us more to get them installed. So we don't have extra cash at this moment in time. Like this is it, like we are done in terms of money. So um, yeah, we gotta do it ourselves. We've uh, been fortunate enough to borrow a tile cutter. So we're gonna do that and um, yeah, wish us luck. So, first thing we're going to do is lay down the full size tiles and then we're going to try and cut them later. Alex is going out today, I went out last Saturday, so um, yeah, I'm going to see if I can continue doing it on my own, but God knows. I just don't want to lose a finger. Okay, so we're going to start with the rapid set on the bulk of the flooring. Uh, we've also got some slow set because we got a deal with Tops Tiles where we got some cheaper bags. Um, so yeah, we're going to start with the rapid set and then go with the slow set on the edges. So we're just trying to read the bag now. Okay, so because we've never worked with the uh, because we've never worked with this adhesive before, we're just going to do a little bucket first and see how far that gets us and the ratio, and then we'll be a bit more confident putting more quantities. But the builders kindly laid out a line for us to follow so we're just gonna follow that we're gonna start with the black tiles and do all the way up and then fit the white tiles around this main line using quite quickly even though it wasn't done yet 
was the bathroom. Some of the stuff that we needed to do in here is like cork the skirting boards. We also need to silicone around the bottom of the tiles. We also need to sort out around the window. We also need to paint the walls and do a bit of sanding and making sure the walls are nice and smooth. So that's the type of thing that I'm going to be doing. Uh, so we are using this bathroom already because it is in a decent state, but it's just not finished. Let's get cracking. Okay, so I am going to just cork the edges of the skirting boards all in here, just with this cheapy B&Q decorator's cork. And my gun. So we've actually got three guns and this is the only one that's decent. So if there's such thing as a crap gun, there is. So make sure you get a good one. job in the world well it, it is pretty easy actually it's just not the nicest job in the world it's really messy but if you look over here like there's a massive gap in between that and the wall and I've tried my best I haven't tried my best sorry I've just tried to fill it in but it's so deep that I think like I'm gonna use all my cork on that if I just do that tonight. So I'm just gonna tidy up the wall a little bit and leave that gap for when I can go and get more cork. Um, I just wanna tidy up the cork off the wall so that it's... Oh dear, it's already stuck. I'll just have to sand that back, I think. It's already making a mess. Um, I think, yeah, to fill that, backfill that, it's gonna require a lot of cork. So I'm just going to continue doing the skirting boards and just ignore that one for now. <laughs> just noticed that there is loads of dust behind there, so I won't be able to do that one until I've hoovered. just finished that bottle so I think instead of just continuing I'm gonna go B&M's okay guys I am unpacking some of the crockery nice stage to be at just to have the crockery back because we've got a dishwasher so now I feel confident that if we use too many bowls we can stick them in the dishwasher right this is the first time I'm ever using this hob and it's the first time we've used a hob in about, I would say seven months. So this feels good. I couldn't even think of any food. So I just like put rice and peas and a bit of egg in the thing and egg fried rice. Okay, so I have cooked everything now. I've cooked up there but i've made a bit of a mess on the wall there so i've just tried to get it off but i think i need to wait for it to dry and then i'll try and get it off tomorrow but uh all down there is done and these ones are done so they're looking a lot nicer now and i'm just gonna think i'm gonna tidy this up today and then i'm gonna call it night i think <laughs>
Okay, so stay two of putting up the tiles and I've masked up the wall because apparently it can get quite wet with the wet cutting. And um, so yeah, we've put the table in here. We've got the tiles at the ready, tiles at the ready. We're trying to make it a little bit more tidy in here because it's actually such a mess. But yeah, so we've got the goggles, the machine, strapped up the walls. I'm about to do another layer in just in case, but we'll see how it goes. But yeah, today is cutting day. Okay, so we're honestly struggling to try and get this in a straight line. We've even tried it with the laser level, tried it with a pen, tried it with loads of stuff. Now we're going to try it with a bit of masking tape and see. The problem is because it's so wet, it gets any line that we do make off. So we're going to try and see if the masking tape stays put better than nothing at this rate. Okay, so it's been pretty much trial and error with this project. And although it's not particularly hard, it's just a not very nice job. The dust that the marble creates is actually horrific and I was feeling so unwell that I need to take antihistamines and they weren't doing anything. But it is so rewarding to think like we have actually done this ourselves. So if you're thinking about it, I would definitely give it a go. But if you're liking this content, guys, make sure you subscribe to my channel, give this a like, comment down below what you would like to take on yourselves or any advice you want from us, if we can give you any at all, that is. <laughs> but um, yeah, this is what I've got for you for this week. We'll carry on with the floor next week. So I will see you then. Thanks for watching.